Hi, this is Betsy O'Hagan. I manage web and marketing for Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, a nonprofit uh, chapter of the National Audubon Society that predominantly um, addresses the territory or location uh, just west of the Cuyahoga River in the Cleveland, Ohio area. Um, and today I'm talking with Isaac Robb, who is going to um, present uh, the July 7th speaker meeting, and Isaac Robb, who is Director of Urban Projects at the Western Reserve Land Conservancy, is going to be talking about from landfill to urban park. Uh, so hello, Isaac, and uh, please um, introduce yourself and uh, tell us about you and about the work that you do. Thank you so much, Betsy. As you mentioned, my name is Isaac Robb. I moved to Cleveland. I'm actually just celebrating my fifth anniversary this month, so I'm really happy to, uh, to live and work in this great city. Um, Betsy and I were just discussing we're both near West Siders, and so we're, we're very close to the Cuyahoga River, which is uh, an incredible asset for all of us. And so what we'll be talking about um, at this session is, yes, yeah, how does a traditional land conservation organization really get involved and contribute to the work in our urban areas? The Western Reserve Land Conservancy was founded a little over 10 years ago from a merger of eight smaller land trusts. And these land trusts were mostly involved in traditional land conservation work, so preserving and conserving our uh, most valuable natural areas for both uh, wildlife as well as uh, human enjoyment. But we've noticed that, you know, as our country continues to deal with issues of suburbanization and in Northeast Ohio, depopulation from our urban centers, it puts more and more pressure on the work we do to conserve, conserve our natural areas and our working farms if we don't have cities that are healthy and vibrant and wonderful places for people to live, work, and play. And so in 2011, our organization really became focused on not only continuing to preserve uh, natural open spaces, but also to work in urban areas. And that's where my involvement comes in. So my background actually is in city and regional planning. And similar to, to the work of the Audubon Society in your chapter, we're really interested in a uh, systems approach to things, that it's not just um, you know, a park or planting a tree, but it's how everything interacts with, with one another. And um, for us to be successful, you know, we have to take care of our natural resources, but we also have to um, build community. And we use land as sort of that medium for building community. And that's what I'm really excited about. And on our call on July 7th, I'll focus a little bit on the background of our organizations, especially our role in the creation and maintaining uh, the land bank network, which some of you may be aware of throughout Ohio, not only in Cuyahoga County. We're really focusing in on a project we're really proud about, um, which is called Brighton Park in the old Brooklyn neighborhood of Cleveland, which is actually a former landfill of construction um, debris. And so how can we take these formally um, degrade, degraded sites and turn them into something that is an asset not only for our, for our communities, but also for um, flora and fauna as well. Uh, that sounds fascinating, and definitely all of the various things that we need to know much more about. So we're looking forward to your presentation. Uh, before we go, or I'd like to ask you in addition, um, Isaac, how did you uh, get involved, and how did you get connected to the work that you're, in, you're doing now? Yeah, thank you for asking that. I, like all of us, you know, I, I feel very lucky to be in a position where I get to wake up and do something that I love and am passionate about. Um, I'm actually originally from uh, Southern Oregon, and my journey, sort of, I initially uh, fell in love with trees growing up sort of in this really dense, um, you know, evergreen forest landscape, and I've always sort of been fascinated by the, the life and world of trees, but as I, I grew older, I understood the importance that cities play as sort of man's greatest adventure, as invention, and that, you know, through cities, we not only can create communities, but it's also a sustainable way to live as well. And so, um, 
you know, not that I, I necessarily, you know, I try and live what, what my values are, but it's like, you know, if you really love nature, don't live in it. You know what I mean? And so to have, I love to visit and spend time in nature, but now, even though my parents, I grew up in a more rural setting, I, I prefer to be a, a city dweller. And uh, I'm really I'm also interested in dynamics with housing and real estate. And so the interest that I had in graduate school through that led me to an internship with the Western Reserve Land Conservancy. And as I've continued to grow in my time here, I've gotten to work on more of the traditional projects as well as issues around housing and vacancy and then repurposing of, of land, especially in the city. So I'm really fortunate to, to get to do this work and I also am fortunate that I get to learn so much every day. And so partnering with your organization and others, I don't come from a birding background, um, but learning sort of about the importance and ways that we can create environments that are welcoming and good habitats for our feathered friends are also very important. And I really enjoy getting to meet a bunch of different people with different backgrounds and interests than myself. Oh, that's great. Well, where would we be without trees? I have no exactly. idea. Well, we wouldn't be. So. Um, I know everyone will love your and appreciate your enthusiasm and your broad uh, perspective on things, as well as your systems uh, view, um, as we all know now. And mm -hmm. perhaps this is a good lesson that COVID has taught us, is that we're all connected, like it mm -hmm. or not. Um, <laughs> well said. Here we are, and I hope that this is a time, I know it's been a time for me personally, to reassess and review what is important and how we are all connected, uh, and how one, react, one action always causes a reaction, whether it's in the immediate vicinity or someplace in another part of the world. So I know that the presentation that you have will will bring, help us to bring our attention to that. Um, could you describe just maybe perhaps a couple of high points of your presentation? Yeah, so I, what I hope to, to accomplish with the presentation is to, again, highlight some of the different areas that the Land Conservancy works in. So maybe you know someone that has worked on a traditional conservation deal um, with us and has preserved, you know, their family's land out in more of an exurban area. Or maybe you've come to one of our tree steward plant uh, trainings or have done a tree planting with us. Or maybe your uncle or aunt owns a working farm in the western part of our service area. And that's another thing that we do a lot of work in. And so I, I really hope that this um, can provide sort of a high level overview of the different ways that the Land Conservancy um, works, but then also focusing on some of the projects that I'm really excited about, like that Brighton Park that I mentioned, and like some of our work um, with communities on the southeastern part of Cleveland that have large pockets of vacant property and how we can rethink um, how we use that vacant land and not view it as a liability, but actually turn it into an asset for these communities. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I understand Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society is anxious and eager to do bird counts at Brighton Park, and we're very excited about that project um, because it's such a strong location, an urban location, and uh, so it's very exciting to help, help be a part of growing uh, urban green infrastructure. Well, we'll certainly look forward to your presentation, and again, that's Tuesday, July 7th. Uh, online and just go to the wcaudubon.org website and you can see our link to our virtual conference center there at 7.30 for the member meeting and then Isaac will present at from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. So uh, Isaac will look forward to learning more from you uh, and your, your talk about from landfill to urban park. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I look forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.